If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community and for supporting quality journalism. Good morning, Davao, Mindanao, North, South, East, and West. This is Elijah Hilcacho, your newscaster for today. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, weather forecast, southwest monsoon affecting central Luzon, southern Luzon, and Visayas. Local news, NPS Davao only files sure convictions cases in courts. CHR monitors human rights violation by cops. KOJC members, impeachment talks versus Sarah in Congress. Court issues supplemental clarificatory order in Kibbler case and of search of ops nears. National news, council shelves public Wi-Fi project. Marcos signs into law laws and damage fund board act. International news. Harris CNN interview is the latest highly anticipated twist in the wild presidential race. Polio vaccines are coming to Gaza. But for this baby boy, it's first case in 25 years. They are too late. Entertainment news. Can Beyonce, Celine Dion, and Foo Fighters stop, stop Trump from using their music? It's complicated. Todd Bridges doesn't, doesn't think there will be ever another Gary Coleman. Sports News Vinicius Jr. tells CNN that, the, that he and Real Madrid teammates would walk off the pitch in reaction to racist abuse. What is Bokia? The Paralympic fastest growing event. Featured Stories Bohol Visayas, top romantic gateway for enchanting dates and scenic scapes. Austin, Texas, premium, premier romantic hotspot for sunset cruises and gourmet dining. Did you know that the Philippines is the home for the world's longest underground river? Weather forecast. Southwest monsoon affecting central Luzon and southern Luzon also Visayas. The rest of the country will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. Localized thunderstorms may cause possible flush floods or landslides during severe weather. Local news, NPS Davao only files sure convictions cases in courts. In bid to reduce court congestions, the National per Persecution Service Davao Region or NPS Davao has implemented a strategy of filing only cases with sufficient evidence to secure convictions. Regional Persecutor Janet Grace B. Delisay Febrero announced that Persecutors are now involved in case buildups 
to ensure strong evidence before filing. Department Circular Number 20 mandates this proactive approach, emphasizing the need for prima facie evidence from January to June 2024. NPS Davao handled over 10,000 cases, with Davao City leading in case volume. The office aims to maintain a high success rate by carefully screening cases before court submission. CHR monitors human rights violation by COPS, KOJC members. In a statement, the Commission on Human Rights, CHR, expressed deep concern over alleged illicit activities involving the Philippine National Police or the PNP. The Kingdom of Jesus Christ during police operations at the KOJC compound in Davao City is monitoring potential human rights violation and stress the importance of upholding the rights of KOJC members. Meanwhile, the Department of Social Welfare and Department or the DSWD condemned the serious allegation against Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, emphasizing the need to protect vulnerable individuals. Students from Jose Maria College Foundation Incorporated criticized the police presence on their campus, citing violations of their educational rights. <music> Impeachment talks versus Sara in Congress. Vice President Sara Duterte revealed that some members of the House of Representatives are plotting her impeachment and that she has evidence of these discussions. During budget de deliberations on August 27, 2024, Duterte mentioned that the recording exists of lawmakers discussing the impeachment. She referenced previous statement by ACT. Teachers Party List Representative Franz Castro about possible grounds for impeachment related to alleged misuse of 125 million pesos of confidential funds. Despite denials from some lawmakers, Duterte claims the impeachment talks persist. Former Senator Antonio Trillanes has also called for Duterte's impeachment in a social media post. <laughs> Court issues supplemental clarifactory order in Kibuloy case and of search of SNEER. The Regional Trial Court or the RTC Branch 15 granted the supplemental and clarifactory order for a temporary protection order or TPO filed by the Kingdom of Jesus Christ or KOJC against the Philippine National Police PNP. The order signed by the Judge Mario C. Duaves clarified that the TPO does not cancel or nullify warrants of arrest and that their enforcement must be re reasonable. Despite the TPO, the PNP continues to manhunt for KOGC leader Apollo Kibuloy, who faces serious charges. The PNP emphasizes its commitment of upholding the law while adhering to human rights protocols. National News Council shelves public Wi-Fi project The proposal free project Wi-Fi project is Cebu City's Plaza Sugbo and Plaza Independence Independencia has been shelved due to alleged irregul irregularities in the contract presented in the City Council Council Nestor Achival Race Concern over the management information and the computer service or also what we call MICS, creating the program of works and estimates POWE. Instead of the supplier leading to the potential overpricing, the project initial budgeted for 4 million pesos face security for unclear contact details and high costs, such as 345 million. 345,567 pesos for mobilization. As a result, the city council decided to postpone the project and send the resolution back for revision. Marcos signed into law, Loss and Damage Fund Board Act. In a significant move, 
President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. signed the Loss and Damage Fund Board Act in law on August 28, 2024. Republic Act No. 12019 established the Loss and Damage Fund Board, granting a juridical personality and full legal capacity to manage climate change related losses. The board will engage with the World Bank for hosting the operational functions. The Philippines, having secured a board seat at COP28, will represent the Asia Pacific Group, advocating for climate financial assistance. The fund, backed by over 700 million from developed nations, aims to support countries grappling with climate induced damage. International News Harris CNN interview is the latest highly anticipated twist in wild presidential race. Vice President Kamala Harris faced a pivotal movement in her presidential bid with her first unscripted interview since becoming a Democratic nominee. Scheduled for Thursday, the CNN primetime prime special airing at 9 p.m. Eastern Time from Georgia will feature Harris alongside Vice President Presidential Peak Team Walls. This interview, conducted by Dana Bash, is crucial for Harris to build on early campaign momentum, avoid past errors, and differentiate herself from Republican nominee Donald Trump. As Harris navigates to high-stakes mo moment, the interview's impact is amplified by recent controversies, including Trump's legal troubles and Biden's debate performance. Polio vaccines are coming to Gaza, but this baby boy, its first case in 25 years, they are too late. In Gaza's Al Masawi ref refugee camp, Abdul Rahman, a 10 month old boy, suffers from polio first case in the region in 25 years. His condition, marked by the severe weakness and immobility, highlights the dire impact of war health care. The disease, preventable by vaccination, has resurfaced due to the disrupted immunization service amid ongoing Israel bombardments. Gaza's vaccine coverage has dropped below necessary level, prompting the WHO and UNICEF or UNICEF, the plan to mass vaccination campaign for 640,000 children. However, challenges include limited operational health centers and ongoing conflict. The campaign set to start on August 31st faced significant hurdles. Entertainment News Can Beyonce, Celine Dion, and Foe Fighters stop Trump from using their music? It's complicated. The Trump campaign uses the Beyonce song Freedom and the other artists' music has sparked controversy. Beyonce's team threatened legal action after her song was used in a social media video supporting Trump, resulting into a video being taken down. Similarly, Foe Fighters and Celine Dion have opposed an authorized use of their music. With Foe Fighters pleading any royalties to the Biden-Harris campaign, the state of Isaac Hayes is suing Trump for using the music without proper licensing. Legal expertise highlight the, while the political campaign need licenses. Unauthorized uses can lead to violations of publicity rights and copyright infringement. Todd Bridges doesn't think there will be ever be another Gary Coleman. The new Peacock documentary, documentary Gary explores the life and struggles of Gary Coleman, the beloved child star of the different strokes. 
who passed away in 2010. His co-star Todd Bridges reflects on Coleman's unique talent and groundbreaking nature of their racial blended family show. Despite his fame, Coleman faced numerous challenges including their financial troubles, legal issues, and personal struggles, which are discussed in film. Bridges, now sober and active in entertainment, hopes the documentary sheds light on the real Coleman beyond the public controversies. Doc the documentary premieres Thursday on Peacock. Sports News Vinicius Jr. tells CNN that the Real Madrid teammates would walk off the pitch and reaction to racist abuse. Vinicius Jr. has opened up about the profound impact of the racism he faced while playing the Real Madrid, highlighting the incident in April when he broke down in tears over the abuse. The Brazilian star has endured repeated racist attacks including fridges and slurs at various matches. Despite the pain, Vinicius finds strength in advocating the racial justice and sees some progress, not noting the recent court conviction from the racist abuse in Spain. UEF that <laughs> protocol against racism and possible team walk-offs are strategies Vinicius supports for combating this issue. The Real Madrid player remains hopeful for gradual change. What is Bokia, the Paralympics' fastest growing event? Bokia, the fastest growing Paralympic sports with ancient roots. Bokia, a sport debuting a 19th 84 Paralympic is now the fastest growing event in the Paralympic movement. With or origins tracking back to ancient Egypt, played on a 12.5 meters by 6 meter court. Teams aim to get their colored balls closest to the white jack. Initially, for those with the cerebral palsy, Bukia now includes athletes with various impairments classified into BC1 to BC4 categories. South Korea led in Paralympic success holding the gold medal. Athlete, athlete, athletes use wheelchairs with some requiring assistance or assistive devices. Assistive devices highlighting Bukia's inclusive and involved nature evolving nature <music> feature news behold visaya's top romantic gateway for enchanting dates and scenic escapes in visaya's philippines a premier dating destination is a charming island of Bohol, renowned for its breathtaking chocolate hills and pristine white sand beaches. Bohol offers a romantic escape perfect for couples. The Pictures Q Panglao Island uh, provides a ideal backdrop for inmate intimate dinners at the benchfront restaurant or sunset cruises. Visitors can also explore the lush Lubbock River on a river cruise, savoring local delicacy and a scene, serene setting. Serene setting. With its mix of natural beauty and serene atmosphere, Bohol stands up as the top choice for the couple seeking a memorable and enchanting day-night experience in the Visayas. Austin, Texas, premier romantic hotspot for sunset cruises and gourmet dining. 
for memorable date in Texas, a vibrant city of Austin is the standout choice. Known for its electric, electric culture and lively atmosphere, Austin offers plethora of uh, romantic activities. Couples can enjoy a sunset bath watching cruise on Lady Bird Lake, exploring the charming South Congress Avenue with its unique shops and eateries, or savor a gourmet meal at one of the city's re-owned restaurants. The scenic Barton Spring Pool and the picturesque Zilker Park also provide tranquil settings for a romantic picnic. Austin's dynamic blend of urban excitement and natural beauty makes it a premier dating destination in Texas. <music> Trivia Did you know that the Philippines is the home to the world's longest underground river? The Philippines is the home to world's longest underground river. Puerto Princesa Underground River, located on Palawan Island, stretches over 24 kilometers or 15 miles and flows directly into the South China Sea. This UNESCO World Heritage Site features impressive limestone cars, landscapes, and is one of the new seven wonders of nature. Visitors can explore the river by boat, navigating throughout the breath taking subterranean pa passages and stunning rock formation. That is all for our news for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Good morning, Dabao. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community and for supporting quality journalism.